We are too rich to be poor. Uh, remember, the Grand Dyke is going to be over 60% of the export revenues of Zimbabwe. But within the Grand Dyke, we find those that are less poor. And, and, and again, let's, let's be mindful. Uh, the total mining sector in Zimbabwe employs about 45,000. And in a country of close to 50 million. So you must, that gets you to understand that what is expected of mining is bigger than what can be directly absorbed in mining. So the essence is for miners to demonstrate the fact that we seek to be fit, we seek to exploit resources within the Great Dyke and do so in a way that cares for those that are less privileged. And because, because for mining to be useful, look, look at the, look, look at um, the Great Dyke. The largest concentration of urban centers in, in, in the whole country. But around it, a number of communities that need to be supported with school fees and all that. And I was told it is between $30 to $60 a child in a, in a normal school for a term. And so that's what we're doing. So we seek to increase the number of the people that we can impact on. The other thing as well is that as much as we speak about the Great Dyke, the average young person does not know what the Great is all about. And if you don't know anything, how can you exploit it? If you don't know what lithium is, if you don't know what uh, platinum is, if you don't know what chrome is, and then to expect you when you are 20, 30, to then say start mining, it doesn't work. So we need to educate young people, we need to, to support young people, we need to build a community of the Great Dyke which is successful, sustainable. Wonderful. How many athletes have participated in this? Have we seen an increase from last year? Certainly, you remember we started with seven. <laughs> and when, when exactly did you start? Uh, six years ago. And just, just um, we expect that by the end of the tour, we'd have over 150 cycles. So, so every year there's been an increase. We, we had to limit this year, the number, particularly from the first leg, the number of cyclists that had come to the cycle. So every other leg from here, we're going to increase. And then from, um, from the Mimosa side, when we come from Monkey, numbers are going to increase. So the, the impact is, is being felt, the, the love from the community is being felt, the schools, we had the schools lining up all the way from Chengdu to So there's way more impact, there's more I've noticed something unique about this year's tour. Yeah. Effectively outside from Chengdu. Exactly. Yes. And I understand she's a daughter to that 82 year old father. Okay. But can you, can you, can you tell us more? Look, I'm, 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 I'm 54. That guy has been cycling for 57. He has been cycling more than me. My, my children are here. And, and he's 82 and he's fit. And I think that's the thing that we need to deal with in Zimbabwe. To say, you can only build your country if you are alive, if you are fit. So if you have an 82 year old, yeah, yeah. But it's, and, 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 and so if we can get many people in Zimbabwe, to live productive lives, then we can be a And if we can start young, like that 18 year old, it's an example to a lot of young people. Because remember, cycling is not been a sport for, for the average, like Zimbabwe. It has been seen as an elite sport. So we need to try to get Zimbabweans outside those that are been seen as elites to actually realize that no, no, it's easy for me to start. What's, what, what, what is the message that this 13 year old is saying? It is saying it's possible. Remember, besides her, we also have a girl, another lady, who escaped from South Africa. She, she went in the bus and she cycled. And, and, and so the women in the, the, the job are also saying, no, it's not, wellness is not a male domain. Wellness is about men, women, it's about everybody. I, I think. We need to do more to educate our nation about the Great Dyke. We need to care more. Around you, there's some underprivileged, talented child. If you support that child today, tomorrow, they could change the course of this country. Palawan, no, no, Palawan is, is good, it's growing. It's again, those are the opportunities within the, that we seek to profile within uh, to, to talk the Great Dyke. To say it's not just about mining, there are businesses around, including tourism, including Palawani, which is an agri tourism facility. So, so, so it's, it's, it's building a bigger ecosystem. Mining is, is 
like a mustard seed. You know, the bread is not the mustard seed. But without mustard seed, there's no bread. You don't have it. Mining is just a small component. But what it does is that it brings back your net bank, your CMAS, your, your Utande, and all that. You're okay and the like. But without the mustard seed, you then don't see the ecosystem. Wonderful. In terms of support, corporate support, how many corporates have supported this? Oh, this year has been big. This year is good. You see, um, NetBank has come back for the second time. We have for the first time Econet. We have for the first time Sibisa brand. We have, okay, we've come back. We have a number of corporates that have come back. We have Sterling that have come back. And all. I think we have over um, 20 uh, corporates that have come back. Mr. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.